Hi, I'm Ryutsar from Japan. I'm studying Bachelor of Game and Interactive Environment at QUT. I came here when I was 17, so year 11 in high school. I went to Gap State High School. It is really fun school. Then teachers really good, really passionate. When I was at high school, I went to the QUT Open Days. When I'm walking around on the campus, I'm really impressed about the facilities and also these esports arenas. QUT is a national leading university when it comes to sports technologies. In the traditional esports arena that we have on campus, we offer a range of programs. Once students graduate from high school and they come to QUT to study, they get to be a part of the esports community, and that involves regular inter-varsity competitions, so they'll compete against other university students from across the world. I love gaming, because like, I can jump into the another world. I mean, that's what I feel when I'm playing game. Esports is a rising phenomenon. Esports is computer gaming, so that's the billion dollar industry of online gaming. And there's also this concept of esports being linked to traditional sports. So the virtual cycling center that we're in here today uh, is a version of esports where people can compete online using technology that's stationary. They'll be able to ride with each other in a virtual environment in this room, but they're also riding with people who are cycling from their own environments from around the world. That is a world first facility that creates endless opportunities, not only for students to participate in an extracurricular sense, but also to be able to study and research some of the technologies that relates to sport. There's a range of careers that are linked to esports where we're finding that students are learning new skills that are translatable into industries that we're really yet to know about. What we're seeing at the moment in terms of esports is the International Olympic Committee have launched the Virtual Olympic Series that runs side by side with the Olympic movement. As time goes on, perhaps we might see esports, as in the gaming element of esports, included um, perhaps in the 2032 Olympics. QT is a leader in the interactive design space, absolutely. We're in the Visor Lab and it's one of the advanced facilities at QUT focused on interactive content production, but also research. Yes, yes. Working, it's working well. The students of the Games and Interactive Environments degree really are energised by creating games. And they play games and they design games, that's great. But when it gets to the real world, uh, they can use all those skills to make solutions for industry, to teach people new things, especially in areas where they're not easy to access or they are dangerous. So the mining sector, energy sector. We've had students come in thinking they're going to make you know, a fancy game or the latest thing. The creepy monster chasing you, and if you hit, you will die. And the projects that they've seen us working on have really changed their interests. It does open their mind, and it shows a much, a very rich future for all sorts of different jobs. We certainly have students who've come in and they're of a certain skill level that they're just excellent. They're working on an industry-related project, and that industry partner that works with us, they probably end up getting a job there. There is no other university in the region that has what the Visor Lab is. It doesn't have the Cube. Well, the Cube is a, a massive interactive screen. It's huge projection walls, uh, multi-touch screens, all sorts of other technology that brings people closer to dinosaurs or the reef. Oh, the big whale oh, idea. Yeah. Is it called humpback? Yeah, it's a humpback whale. Ah. Mm -hmm. Effectively a, a living laboratory that helps us show off, <laughs> but also provide the students with a, a really great experience, whether they're just studying and relaxing and watching the reef, or they are part of a project making it do something new. I think the opportunities to come to QUT and study the Games and Interactive Environments degree it really provides a unique opportunity to be, first of all, in Brisbane, but also the facilities we have are leading edge. That's the learning experience that the students have.